I'm Colleen and I'll be leading this short tutorial on autosomal testing. If you've recently tested with a commercial DNA website, this tutorial is for you. If you took high school biology, you may remember learning about something called genetic inheritance. DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is the blueprint for how living organisms are built. DNA is made out of two long strands that contain genetic information, or genes. We inherit this genetic information from both of our parents, which are stored in units called chromosomes. Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes. One set of chromosomes comes from a parent's mother, and the other comes from their father. Testing companies like Ancestry, 23andMe, and Family Tree DNA use a method of DNA testing called autosomal testing. This kind of testing is used for genetic genealogy, which allows both men and women to test and see results concerning their ethnicity, as well as a list of genetic relatives. Unlike other kinds of DNA tests, autosomal testing checks your numbered chromosomes as opposed to your sex chromosomes. These sites measure your relationship to your genetic matches using something called a centimorgan. The centimorgan is abbreviated with a little c and a large m. The chart on your screen reflects the centimorgan amounts you may expect to see in your own family tree. Each block represents the relationship you have to a person, the average centimorgans you may share with them, and the range of possible centimorgans for that relationship. Please note, the letter C represents cousin and the letter R represents removed. For example, the child of your great grand aunt or uncle would be your first cousin twice removed. Now that we've reviewed the basics, let's practice using centimorgans to understand familial relationships. In this screenshot from Ancestry DNA, we see a match that has 3,000 441 centimorgans. Now, let's look again at our centimorgan chart. Based on our total number of 3,441 centimorgans, we can tell that this DNA match can only be a parent or child. Now that you've had some practice, it's your turn to determine a relationship based on centimorgans. Our next match has 2,338 centimorgans. Based on this chart, take a few moments and choose which familial relationships reflect the 2,338 centimorgans. Feel free to pause the video right now so you can take extra time to examine the chart. If you chose sibling, grandparent, or grandchild, congratulations, you are correct. Now, let's review what we've learned about understanding DNA matches. We get our DNA through a process called genetic inheritance, wherein we inherit one set of chromosomes from our mother and one from our father. Autosomal testing is used by commercial DNA companies and analyzes the autosomes or numbered chromosomes. And finally, these commercial DNA tests Measure your genetic relationship to other testers by comparing your centimorgans. That concludes our presentation on understanding your relationship to DNA matches after autosomal testing. I hope you found this information useful and are able to use it on your future genetic research endeavors.